right you seem kind of crazy saying that. Yeah. Psychotic. Oh my god, he is psychotic! Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of wild and crazy kids in love that love some Wild Card Wednesdays. It's Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah, and Bucky loves Wild Card Wednesday too. He's very excited. And so for uh, this Wild Card Wednesday, we're doing Pokemon, all trailers. Uh, we're going to react to those. And if you want to check out our poll for next Wednesday, go ahead and uh, check out our channel, our community section. We have a poll right there for uh, next Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, little buddy, want to ride? Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah. Pika? <laughs> I'll be right back. You seem kind of crazy saying that. Yeah. Psychotic. Oh my god, he is psychotic! Pokemon. On your Game Boy, that's where. Pokemon. Oh my god. Game Boy is here. With both packs, you can catch That's horrifying. Games and systems sold separately. Now that you've heard. Yes, yes, I have them now. Your very own Pikachu. It's time for Dance my pretties. For Game Boy Color. Battle a friend for the Poke, Pika, and Pedic Cup titles on your way to becoming the greatest Pokemon master of all time. It's Pokemon Yellow for your Game Boy Color. You've conquered red. You've mastered blue. You've triumphed over yellow. You've caught them all. And now you're ready for the next step. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Gold and Silver. Tons of new Pokemon. New adventures and worlds to explore. New badges to collect. So you've got to ask yourself, have you got... Do you feel lucky, games? punk? Pokemon Gold and Silver are ready to eat for everyone. I've got to catch them all. Yeah, I know. Mystery of the unknown. What do you think those strange markings mean? Just help me push. You can enter the world of Pokemon Crystal, the latest adventure from Johto with an all-new Pokedex. <laughs> Pokemon Crystal, gotta catch them all. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire, only for Game Boy Advance, rated E for everyone. Definitely some characters in there. Mm -hmm. Why is everyone? Sleep powder. Okay. Rock like I went to sleep, but they, they, they made sure that they climbed down and, you know. Confused, didn't fall and hurt yeah, themselves? Yeah, exactly. Didn't just fall all of a sudden. Now you're ready for the all new Battle Frontier. Take on your biggest challenge yet in Pokemon Emerald, only for Game Boy Advance. Ready for everyone. Was Nintendo DS? I don't know. I never had one. A new adventure in the Sinnoh region begins. Pokemon Platinum. Sinnoh is a land rich with nature, but another world not covered by time or space emerges. Search for a legendary Pokemon to thwart the evil plans of Team Galactic. New characters, new facilities, new enhanced features. Why is Pokemon like just relegated to the N Nintendo the Game Boy and stuff? Completing the main story, the handheld. The battle frontier. 
guess because there's a new defensive graphics. Pokemon also a good question. With different rules. This is a question that I need to sell. Why winning earn points that can be used to get special items? <laughs> Connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to see Pokemon trainer rankings from around the world. Enjoy mini games with up to four players online. Share videos of your most exciting Pokemon battles with trainers from all over the world. Improve your battle skills by watching other trainer strategies. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, was there a number of larger games developed for, like, a bigger console? I'm sure there is later on, but... And now it just seems like it's... It's the handheld stuff. Ooh. Thunder Kitty. Oh, these are death battles? <laughs> Yes, they are. This time we're a death battle! Heart gold and soul silver versions. Return to the scenic Johto region. Travel with your favorite Pokemon. Experience the enhanced gameplay. Adventures and epic battles await you. So, the announcer's voice is in English, but everything else is in English. Just not. Pokemon, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver mm -hmm. version. My guess is the voiceover probably changes depending on the country where they're doing the advertisement. Spring mm. 2010. Because it's for some new graphics, too. <laughs> New beginning. This looks updated. Mm -hmm. She teeted. <laughs> There's the opposites like the black and white version, the mm -hmm. gold and silver versions. T-Pig, go! <laughs> that looks like a Bucky. Didn't, didn't it look like a little, like... Well, not there. Not <laughs> that space is Bucky like, though. Yeah. Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2 return to the Unova region two years later. You'll encounter familiar faces, new Pokemon trainers, and new gym leaders. Battle Roxy's poison type Pokemon and Gym Leader Marlin's water type Pokemon. Explore new areas of the Unova region where you'll encounter many Pokemon from other regions. Ooh, Fire Sheep. Begin Get, oh. adventure in Aspertia City. Then was the sheep creating the flames or was the sheep on fire? New Pokestar Studios. I definitely hope not the latter. Make movies and debut them to your fans. Go slow, bro. Where will your adventure take you? Pokemon Black Who version knows? 2 and Pokemon White version 2 coming to Nintendo DS October 7th. Oh wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. And Justin. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Kalos region. Home of your new Is that Ferris wheel adventure. <laughs> Maybe. An amazing or maybe probably, yeah, one more. To explore. A place where you will <laughs> discover many <laughs> new Pokemon. I like Froakie. <laughs> Go, little fox. Ooh. Yep. You struggle bug? Is that what oh, I said? Yeah. Introducing a new type of Pokemon. 
fairy type. Okay. Jigglypuff! Hey! You know when Jigglypuff type, came about? Which is super effective against dragon type Pokemon. Adding a new Very twist curious. to your battle strategy. Always. All I can do in my head is, I'm a freaking fairy? <laughs> yeah. An exciting way to bond with your Pokemon. Feed, pet, and play with Pokemon to deepen the connection between you. So it's like a more complex Tamagotchi. Yeah. Whether big or small. can even copy your Pokemon's actions to make them happier. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's see this guy in Yeah. Head. Get ready for the next evolution in Pokemon. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. So they always release things in twos. Seems like it. Why? Some people buy two things instead of one. Well, yeah, but like, you have to hold the game long enough for the second game to be ready, so you miss out on the sales then. Now, people just buy them both at once. Oh! In the face. It's like a whale jet. A wild Pikachu. Is there any other? Is there any other kind? I don't think so. Gonna eat you. Does it have like a face on its belly? I don't know. I missed it. I was looking at like its wings or arms or clippers or whatever they were. Kind of messed up. We're gonna make these like really cute things fight for our amusement. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in your little ball cute thing. That was that a coconut tree? That was a Pokemon? Mm, the bad guys, Team Skull. Hmm. She 
had very large hands. They're not proportional to your body. They're throwing way too many images at me right now. Mm -hmm. Gloom, doom. I don't know what that was, but you I'm here it? for it. Yeah. It's all about pummeling, okay. Bloom doom kind of sounds like allergy season. <laughs> Beware the bloom doom. I like that. It's gonna hurt. You know, that little fox was angry. Hmm. The red eyes. Well, that's cool. Mm hmm. Take the ultimate edition. Fuck the man, girl. Mm. Yeah, that's what I assume it is. Yeah. My day. I'm gonna take mushrooms or acid to see a little thing chase you around. <laughs> That's smart. What the hell? Because he's in there. I know, but like... It's alive. That, that's just weird. It's a weird thing to do at lunch, that's all I'm saying.
No. Adorable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Evie? Or Evie? Evie. I don't know. These are huge! The big tail! What the hell is that thing? Pee on that? Okay. And a monkey. <laughs> and a baby. Be cute. He's your up child. Mm hmm. Walruses. That's one of the movie. Can't remember the name though. Detect Pikachu. Hmm. Don't know. Seems like a super powerful one. Not the Charmander. Not the Charmander, no.
at the commercial. I think it might have been. Phoenix. Yeah, I don't know what's with it. It's always, getting, always in twos. And always blue and red, too. This is a tale from a long, long time ago. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Yay! Free! Can be trapped in little balls. Then tragedy struck. Welcome to my murder bush. This is my murder bush. It's just a murder bush. I also appreciate the overly dramatic somersault that she did into the bush too. Yeah. For reason that was good. She gave the murder bush the appropriate. Yeah. Why are you so sad, buddy? Best friends forever. I feel like there was more of that story. Oh yeah, for sure. That we just did. Just get... went right over our heads. Well, but not just that. It was like, this is a story from a long time ago. But then there wasn't yeah. a complete <laughs> story. It was like, and? Yeah. Pokemon comes out and just murders him. I didn't realize it was a horror movie. Just the Bison Kid. Beware the Squirtle. Shouldn't walk through the portal, dude. Now you die. The end. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows what happened to him after that. He died. Like I said. Did you see a body? Ooh. Oh, just saw a white light. Ducks. <clears throat> like platypus. They're the love child of a duck and a platypus. Mm -hmm. 
and that's Stonehenge. What? Okay. Magnets for like wings or something like that. Not dead. Lame. Cop out. <laughs> Let's kill him. Murder him. Scarlet and violet, okay. They changed up from blue, now it's purple. Beautiful coexistence between people and Pokemon. Mm hmm. Or so we thought. But then, things started to go very, very, very wrong. Mika! <clears throat> Go, Run. Pika, go! Why doesn't he have eyes? I'm concerned. <laughs> well, nobody seems to have eyes in this, in this world, so it's fine. That's concerning. It's just because you think people can only see with their eyes. In this world, you can see in other ways. Like Wait. Daredevil. Okay. Okay. Crazy. It's a spaceship! Lumio City. Yeah. So uh, it was fun seeing those old school trailers. Um, that started off the first one. The guy was psychotic. Yeah, killing all the Pokemon on the bus. <laughs> Wait right here. <laughs> that was the real horror story. Yeah, that was. Um, uh, why was that a marketing tactic <laughs> in the '90s? I'm assuming that was a '90s commercial. Um, why, why is it we're gonna kill your beloved characters because that's gonna convey the message of putting them into a game? Like what? Well, who in a boardroom thought up that idea? Yeah, I'm not sure. And that's why Pokemon was never successful, ever. No one's ever heard of it. <laughs> no, that's just why 90s kids are all screwed up. They thought that, you know, to love their things, they needed to destroy them. Yes. <laughs> yep. I'm going to spit you in a box so I can ca carry you around with me forever. Entire generation traumatized. Yeah. By 90s commercials. And that's where uh, we get Law & Order, you know, SVU. Oh my God. Well, that was a segue. <laughs> but you didn't think you were going to hear that in this reaction. <laughs> um, which one was your favorite? I mean, what really sticks out is Mr. Security Guard, but that's just because it was so different from everything else that we saw. Yeah, true. Um, and I I think since I'm not, I'm not already in the Pokemon world and hooked into this franchise, that Neither was the most accessible to me. Because I'm like, oh, this is, instead of having to try and bring me into the world of Pokemon, this is bringing the Pokemon into my world so I can get a sense of things. Um, so I think that just stuck out for being unique and accessible. I like all of the different creatures. So like, I'm, I'm very curious about the world and learning more about the creatures, the sort of lore behind everything. We can um, start by not calling them creatures, all right? They're beautiful thingamajigs. <laughs> that sounds so much better. Um, you know, like, 
we know Squirtle and Charmander and Pikachu from the live action movie mm-hmm. and from some death battles, but really like those three are the only ones I know. Um, I know so, Grookey now. Yes, you know Grookey. Um, so I'll be curious to know more and also try to understand the world because to the point of like the first commercial being psychotic, mm-hmm. my understanding of this world is that you have a, a Pokemon and you love it and it's adorable. And the best way that you can show your love is by pitting it against another Pokemon in a battle to the death. So obviously there's got to be something I'm missing here because I don't understand how that would be such a successful franchise. So I look forward to you all recommending more movies so that I can better understand what the heck is going on. <laughs> My favorite one was the one with the with the Grookey. Um, it, had, the Grookey. it started off, you know, um, with, with fire and fire. That's always a good way to start things off. <laughs> And then you think that somebody's peeing on the fire, but really it's someone from the from the fountain. It's the Sobble. The Sobble, exactly. It's so sad. He's like the Eeyore of the Pokemon universe. I just want to make him smile. Yep. Um, so that one that one stood out for me. And then obviously, like, you know, the crazed bus driver and then the um, horror film that ended up not being a horror film with the security guard. Yeah. So um, that was a little bit of a... Yeah, bait and switch. There's almost like a mashup, you know, Pokemon a la Five Nights at Freddy's style. That's like what I thought yeah. we were getting. Me but, too. But it did not It did not pan out quite so well. That's pretty much the whole reason I watched this, but yeah. <laughs> I know, Bucky, I know. If you want to check out our uh, Detective Pikachu reaction, go ahead and check that out on our other reaction channel. And uh, you can see our poll for next Wildcard Wednesday and go ahead and vote on that. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for all Pokemon trailers, but you keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. Oh my goodness. (laughs)